Here we have another boat that uh, has been restored by Scarborough Engineering. It came to us in very poor condition. It's a little clinker, very nice shape. Uh, had no stem at all in it, been removed, and seven planks missing in the bow section. And uh, yeah, the transom was pretty poor. So we put new, new steam bent ribs in the whole boat and new gunnels, inner and outer gunnels. Uh, the boat's been nailed and, and clenched. And yeah, have a look, she's come up quite beautiful. Here's Patrick to explain all the interior. So as you can see, we've put new seats in here, new slatted seating. Uh, we've put in a new control box here for the brand new engine, which is hidden under this traditional wooden box. Uh, here's the controller for the engine here. It's just a normal throttle controller there. And as you can see, this engine box here lifts up, hiding the new engine. As you can see, this is the new Yanmar diesel. Uh, with the battery in front of it here and all the parts that work, need for it to work are all hidden under here and in the box so it keeps the traditional look. So due to the small amount of space on these wooden boats that we restore certain things have to be hidden or put in complicated positions. For example the exhaust manifold here you can see which is hidden under this seat and ejects out the boat out the side. Also this hose here is for the bilge pump which is mounted down under the control box. Other things include the petrol, the diesel tank up forward which is also mounted under the seat, all because we have very little space available. As you can see here, this is the engine box we've made for this boat. Uh, it's got a curved front here, which maintains the traditional look of the boat, but also allows for much more space when moving around the boat. If the engine box was completely rectangular, you might struggle to get around. This is one of the things we struggle with with the small boats, being the space available. But things like this allow you to save space in a myriad of different ways. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the stuff we get up to around here at Scarborough Engineering. So I'll see you next time.